All right, guys, what's up? We're going to be taking the Suron today. This might be the last time we use that Suron with the BAC 4000 because I'm working on a video for Greenline Engineering. Um, I ordered the BAC 8000. This thing is beautiful. Um, when I ordered it, I ordered it in the silver, but a day later, the black was available, and I asked them to switch it, and then they didn't sh ship this out until I think... Was it a month after I placed my order? So they forgot. Um, but they did send me the black one. I don't know which ones you guys like better. If you guys can see them with the light. I like the black because it's really subtle. I know my bike stands out anyway because I got LEDs on it. So, so this would probably look all flashy. But I really wanted the controller to just kind of blend into the bike. So they sent this to me. I got to send the silver one back to them. But that's cool that they sent it to us. And... Uh, got to get that on the bike it's going to be a nightmare because we have all the street legal kit from will hopefully he sends us the new upgraded kit too i'm kind of waiting for that man the the Suron is still going to be king man the Suron is still the king even after the super 73 upgrade and all that stuff it's still going to be king i'm really curious to see how the bac 8000 is going to be on this bike i know it's mostly going to be like a temperature upgrade because it can handle more temperature and uh, it can handle more phase amp, so I should get more torque out of the bike. And I'm hoping it can extend our top speed another couple miles per hour. But the main goal is to get more uh, torque out of the bike and put a, uh, like, keep, on, keep the sprocket I currently have on or maybe drop back down to the 42 tooth so I can still reach my uh, goal of 80 miles an hour on the Surrog. Because so far, we did a speed test. If you haven't seen that video, I think it's got 75,000 views so far. You might want to check it out. It's a good video. And uh, I think I got 74.4. But everyone that was doing the speed test, they all had a BAC 8000. So just wait for you. Hey, where'd the sun go? Oh, man. I feel like the sun just left us. Okay, no, it's coming back. It's coming back. A couple days ago, uh, we rode the Ride One Up Core 5, an actual electric bike. You have to pedal. And uh, we got hit with the rain. I mean, it was very light and it was towards the end, right before I was work. But man, that sucked being in the rain on an electric bike. You just never know if any of the components are going to go out or uh, the LCD display is gonna get ruined or anything. You just never know, you, I don't know. I would rather not have my electric bike in, uh, in those conditions. Like when there was a company uh, that sent me, I think it's Giraffe Tools. They sent one to Dylan Thompson also, but uh, they're like, yeah, you can know, you can wash your bikes and stuff with this. Like, no, I am not washing my bike with a pressure washer. Not the electric ones anyway. Like even if you do and you can't, you might be all right, it's mostly, you're gonna get rust on a lot of uh, a lot of the bolts too. Let's see, they might be turned into. So I don't trust them. Oh, that's how you do it. God, man, this thing's a monster. My Super 73 would never be like this. Has anyone ever done a uh, Super 73, 72 volt system with a bigger hub motor, but then put a uh, mid drive on it? I'm just curious. I mean, I don't think there would be a point, but uh, I was just curious if someone's done it. It's kind of like how people have done a, a turbocharger and a supercharger on the same build. You could do it. <laughs> kind of pointless though but uh hey you, know, you want to be different want to get out there make some videos make some uh make some good content you know yeah i got all the confidence in the world that this thing will pull out in traffic and just jam dude god this thing i can't, i forget how fast this thing is i love this bike you guys will never be disappointed if you get a sur on and uh you know you do all the upgrades to it like yeah it's a lot of money you get a motorcycle and you can be a lot faster but want to save money on gas or do you never want to pay money for gas well here you go you got to invest some money to not spend any money 
especially depending on what you drive too. I got some co-workers that tell me it costs them $160 to fill up their truck. And they fill it up every like two weeks or so. Like, damn dude, in no time you can have a, like a $4,000 bike, man. Just spend the money if you got it. Then you always have it. Then you'll start saving from then on out. That's kind of the way I look at it. If I have the cash, I just buy it right then and there. And then from that point on, I'm saving money. I don't think about like, oh, I just spent four grand on this. I just start thinking about like, I save money now. Oh, the sun went away again. Oh, Subaru. Clean, clean. I'll be honest, guys. I think the videos are going to start uh, not being delayed, but I'm not going to put out a lot. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, all last week I put out, I think, four videos, maybe five, but I for sure four videos back to back to back but um elden ring and gran turismo they both came out and i haven't got to play elden ring yet but i played uh but i played gran turismo 7 let's pedal past these people <laughs> it's too funny, man. God, I love this bike. I love it. 60 miles an hour in like no time. And I wasn't flooring it for the first like, like two seconds through that intersection. I waited. I just don't want to pop a wheelie because I got to lean forward so it doesn't pop a wheelie. I still had to a little bit, but not much. But man, I got to work way too early again oh good stuff though good stuff uh, bike lane nah nah I'm all good I'll just get in the street let's just start pedaling that'd be funny I'm pedaling now. I'm pedaling if you guys can see me. These these cranks are short, so. Ooh. It's just funny doing that. You kind of just make fun of your own self because people are going to see you and be like, what the hell? People are jamming today. Coppers. Coppers are out. I don't know if you saw that cop, but. I'll see you at night time because I know the video is probably going to be short. This is the fastest way I found out. It does screw up traffic, but this is so quick to do this. Peace out, suckers! Man, I'm going so fast that my uh, mirror moved. What the heck? guys where were we when we were talking when i got to work like i don't even know i don't even know what we were talking about but some good news about the channel um some of the companies i've been working for and uh electric bike company you guys have known them if you watch my videos if you're new uh, i get products from companies i review skateboards i review bikes all that stuff, type of stuff i'm trying to get in the scooters but anyways, a company, an electric bike company, hit me up, sent me a bike, the Model E, and they got back to me as we were talking on the phone and said, hey, this is gonna be a good month for you. And I was like, what do you mean? They said, you're our number one YouTuber that we have sent bikes out to. He's like, whatever you're doing, just keep it up. And they asked what I was doing different, and honestly, the only thing that I could think of that I did different is I changed the titles of my videos and I put discount code or i put 50 dollars off in the title i changed all of those and then i also uh, started promoting the video so it's about it's about 50 bucks a week to promote those three videos and uh it's not much it maybe brings in like 3,000 views i believe a week but 
The reason why that's helping is because it might be people that are interested in the bike and then they see there's a discount code or their friend is looking for one. So now they have a discount code, they send their friend and I get commission for every bike I sell. And they told me, and the month wasn't even over yet. There was five days before February was over and they said that my code had been used 13 times. 13 times. He said, I'm the number one person. I'm above every YouTuber that they have done collaborations with. I was like, no shit, that is crazy. So uh, that means I'd get a check for $650, which is insane to me. I mean, yeah, it's not like thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, but to me, coming from someone that's like really low in YouTube and I'm not really uh, that famous yet. I mean, I'm kind of famous a little bit in the electric bike community, but I'm not like crazy known. It's just cool to see that type of stuff. So I was talking to uh, the guy over there, his name's Blake, and he told me that they want to send me another bike. Well, technically this guy Chris reached out from the company, but then Blake said he'll take care of it. And I said, okay, I was like, well, I want the D2, which is a dual motor. It has a motor in the front, motor in the rear. I think it's like 2000 watts, but um, they didn't want to send that one to me. They said they're still working out some kinks on it. And uh, he doesn't want to send it to me without it being like fully polished up and have no issues with it. Cause he knows how my reviews are. I'm pretty honest. I'll say if it's uh, bad or not, or if it has any issues. Anyways, they want to send me another one. I'm like, I don't care if they want to send me one, I'm down to review it. So maybe we'll have another bike to review from them. I hope they come through. But that's pretty cool to know that uh, like the collaboration with me and that company worked out very well. And I also try to collaborate with, um, at first it was custom e-bikes. I thought they were the ones that sold the kit until I realized it was Moto Electric Racing is who made those kits. And then custom e-bike was just another website that basically um, did some sales for them. So they probably get commission for helping them sell the kits. And anyway, I, re I reached out to Custom E-Bike and they never got back to me. They said, oh, okay, yeah, let us know your YouTube thing. I sent it to them two weeks later, nothing. A month later, nothing. So I just bought the kit myself. But I really wish I could have done a collaboration with them, kind of like Sir Ronster did with uh, the company that made the kits for the Razor scooters. I know he did that with them. So he probably made some money and I'm promoting the hell out of Moto Electric Racing for that Super 73 build, the 72 volt. So I really wish I could have done something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm helping them do sales. But at the same time, I'm also having fun and I'm trying to help you guys. So I'm not, I'm not mad they didn't want to collaborate. I'm just like, ah, I wish I could have, you know, told them after I was making the video that they still, you know, wanted to work together and maybe give you a discount and then help me uh, make a little bit of money out to the side. It helps me because I can buy other bikes, you know? But pretty cool, pretty cool. And like I said earlier in the video, this is probably going to be the last time uh, this bike is on a BAC 4000, unless something dramatic comes up and I really just can't get to it for whatever reason. I hope not. Um, I was gonna try to work on it tonight. I got off work a little bit earlier, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been hooked on a Grand Grand Turismo 7, and uh, I want to get kind of some video gameplay going, and I want to kind of get my career going in that game and stuff like that. Get some money going, pick up some cars. I want to get the Supra. So uh, I'm gonna be playing that game for a while, but I'm still gonna keep the videos coming. All right. Don't think I'm not gonna uh, stop putting content out. We're still gonna put content out. Um, once we get the Super 73 working, the company MB Power is sending me a new display. So uh, once they send that new display to me, hopefully that fixes the issue. Um, I'm gonna be turning the bike on and off many, many times until I realize you know that's the issue or not. Because if it's really not, I'm not trying to take that bike hella far and have an issue and only be limited to five miles an hour to get home. Even a regular mountain bike that's electric, I can go faster than that. Even a BMX bike, I can ride faster than that. Uh, we ain't pedaling the Super 73 anymore. It's too heavy. Probably in like the 110 range now. 
but um, I want to get a range test going with the Super 73 once we get it all dialed in. I honestly don't know what it's going to be, but from the looks of it, if we start at 84 volts, it looks like by every 4 volts we go down, I do, actually 4.5 volts, I'm sorry, 4.5 volts we go down, that's 6 miles. So, I mean, if you just do the math all the way to down to 60 volts, then that's going to tell you what the range can kind of be, especially the way I'm riding the bike, too. I'm going with the speed of traffic 40 miles an hour probably on average. So, that be, that should be pretty good. I think the range will be good enough to actually take it around town. Um, I need to go downtown with it one day like I used to and just kind of go ride around, make a long trip, and pray to God we don't get a damn flat. Oh, that would really, really suck. But I hope you guys are really enjoying this content. I'm loving the fact that you guys are following my videos and just supporting me so much when there's just people. There's people everywhere. Like, so many people are doing YouTube videos. And, I mean, you guys choose to watch them, but I also feel like I do put out some decently good content to help you guys out. I did with the Onyx. I did with the Super 73. And, uh, I'm... Oh... That's another thing. I'm not going to show you guys. I know someone asked me. Um, I'm not going to show how to install a BAC 8000. Only because I've kind of... I've already done the BAC 4000 already. And I have tons and tons of wires from the street kit in here. And I know a lot of people are going to be... It's going to look funky. It's not going to look like your setup. And I, I don't want to confuse people with a bunch of wires being in there. So I'm not going to do a uh, installation video. There's tons of them online. Emoto Bros did a perfect one. So, but uh, I'm home, guys. So I will see you guys in the next one. I love this bike. It's still the king. Comment something in the description, all right? Let me know you made it to the end. Peace.